Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to talk about a, a very interesting story I had. It was funny. It was a long time ago also, but it was also a long time ago. It was funny. Well, I think it was seven years or eight years ago. Uh, well, I was. Uh, my friends and I, we used to get to go together to a friend's house near where I live. And his name is Juan, the owner of the house. And we always were, went there. We're there playing video games and doing things on weekends because well, we were young, we had nothing to do, and it was nice. And every weekend we say, oh, what are we going to do today after this? So we can go to a party, we can go to that place, and anyway. And one day, Ron said, this weekend's going to be awesome because one of my friends at the university said he's going to have a huge Halloween party and we can, we can go and it's going to be amazing. It was not cheap, but it was not bad, so, well, Halloween party, costume parties, costume party, amazing, because we don't have many in Brazil, so we decided to go, we all decided to go, we were very happy with that, and, well, <laughs> we spent the whole week going for costumes and planning, but the thing is, the, the house is 70 kilometers from downtown, and we live downtown, so we started to is it going to, I hope is it going to be worth it because it's too far away. But that's right, he said. He, was, he spent the whole weekend uh, talking and trying to persuade. And, and I remember when I talked with him, I was very excited. Oh my God, really, it's going to be amazing. And when I hang, out, hang up with him, another friend called, Oh, where are you going to Shimon's party? I said, Oh, so it's going to be a good move. And well, we decided to go. On Friday, we, the, Friday the, the party was going to happen on a Friday. Then we went to John's house and we started to make up. And well, I had no idea how many were going because well, we had talked with me and two more. But on Friday, I think we had more than 13 guys there waiting for the party. I said, "Oh my God, it's going to be nice! All our friends, all our friends together." And well, it doesn't happen very often. So this party is going to be nice, and we. We, took a, we were in three cars, three cars full, 13 or 14 friends, and well, we had a little warm up on John's house, and it was, no, we were, it was a very, uh, it was, we were, we, we thought that would be a, an, an amazing night. And then we started, we got in the car and started to drive to the place. And during the, 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 the uh, on our way, we were, happy, we were laughing, and he was saying, no, this is going to be amazing, I just called my friend, the, the party already started, it's very full, so, okay, let's go there. And the first problem was, when we arrived there, he had no idea where was the, the party, so we drove 70 kilometers, and we had no idea where we were. And, okay, so we, he had a, a little scrap of paper on, in his hands, and we started to drive, and try to find, try to guess where was the place. And after that, we, after one hour or 40 minutes driving around the neighborhood, we found the, the, the house. And well, the house was, the, the, the view was amazing. The house was so <laughs> made up with lights and with ghosts and things. And we were saying, oh my God, this is going to be nice, loud music. And huge curtains, cur curtains? Curtains. Yeah. Curtains in front of the house. And we, when we left the car to go in, we saw a very disappointing view. Uh, a dog left the house um, through the curtains, but you know, how do, how do you say that homeless ha dog? A homeless dog. A homeless dog. <laughs> and we said, oh my god, what the hell was that dog doing there? And we started to look, um, oh, let's see, let's go in and see. And, well, we were thinking what could have happened, but the problem is when we entered, it was the most disappointing thing I've ever saw. There was no one on the party. It was just his friend, and he, I don't know what happened, but I think he, he decided to make that with the friend, and they didn't prepare, just, they, they spent a lot of money on the house, and he just said to Juan, but Juan said that was going to be amazing, that kind of thing, but, well, there, it was not a party, I don't know what happened, it was very disappointing for us, and, well, it was an awful night, but the point is, I, I don't know till today how how one could convince, could persuade 13 guys in a very effective way because we didn't even think who is going to make the party. We didn't look for that because we live in a huge place, but the, 
downtown is small, so we all know each other, and every time something happens, you know, and it was interesting because we didn't do to that. We were so focused on his persuasive, persuasive story, and we were blind of that. And in the end, we came back very upset with Juan, and we, well, the night ended in a pizzeria, and of course, Juan had to pay. <laughs> 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 and that's it. Thank you. Woo!